They only missed it. Okay, test one, two, three. Could um, somebody put in the comments whether we've got sound now, please? Okay, we're on. I got my my phone is also doing sound. And I got to turn my sound back off okay. so we don't get an echo. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Well, Good to go. We're not going to start over again, but. Just want to say really quick to all of you, welcome, so glad you are here. Remember, this is where you belong because, hey, you get to giggle. And in giggle, we know that God is good. Boop. God and loves, loves everyone. everyone. Boop. Hey, all right. And now, um, prayer hands together, and we are going to have our opening prayer. Uh, Ms. Christie, does it look like we're on the opening prayer slide so everybody I can participate? I don't have the overlap yet, so I'll give it that 20-second that delay. No PowerPoint, Ms. Trish? Okay, so just bear with us for a technical moment. We're going to get that PowerPoint up, and I'm going to step off screen, and I'll, we'll be right back with you. Do you want to do things out of order today, Ms. Bev? Would you like me to sing? Yes, because we don't, we don't have the words to sing anyway, so we're just going to just go with it. Um, so Miss Bev and Miss Trish are going to get that all situated, and we'll do our song first. So today's big theme is going to be about water and baptism. So what better water and baptism song do we have but then our peace like a river? So if you're fairly new to Sunday school, or maybe some of our grown-up members don't know how this rolls, um, we have peace like a river, peace like a river, peace like a river in my soul. And when we go to Camp Crossroads, they even say, in my soul, and they get the bottom of their foot. It's a very, it's very um, heartfelt, in my soul. And then we sing, uh, we sing that twice. And then we sing, I have joy like a fountain. I have joy like a fountain, and I have joy like a fountain in my soul. And there's a nice echo in my soul. And then the third verse is, I have love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean in my soul. Then comes the challenge verse. And you have to do all three, and you have to do all three with emotions and reasonably quick because the song doesn't get any slower. So it goes, I have peace, joy, love, like a river, fountain, ocean in my soul. And that's how we roll. All right, we love this one, everybody. It's got to be out of their seat. Are you ready? This is definitely not a sitting down sort of feeling songs, so we're going to be ready to go. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to take this off just to be here since I'm up here on myself, and then I don't sound so cloudy. Here we go. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. In my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul, in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean in my soul, in my soul. I've got joy, love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean. I've got love like the ocean in my soul. Now try to do it all. I've got peace, joy, love like a river, fountain, ocean. I've got peace, joy, love like a river, fountain, ocean. I've got peace, joy, love like river, fountain, ocean in my soul, in my soul. I've got peace, joy, love like a river, fountain, ocean. I've got peace, joy, love like a river, fountain, ocean. I've got peace, joy, love like a river, fountain, ocean in my soul, in my soul. All right, so I hope you kids are out there waving your arms and making your parents try. Miss Bev, she kind of gave up. 
Miss Trish is over there waving I, all I, sorts of arms. I have learned, <laughs> we have the variety. I have learned when it comes to the last verse, I do not belong doing all of those together. I can do them individually. But Excellent. Look, Miss Natalie and Miss Marie were singing with me. Ooh, 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 and we've got birthdays coming up. Good. Anybody else who's got birthdays, please post them. We'll be singing in just a little bit. Fantastic. Well, welcome to everyone. Um, I thank you for your patience. We did have a few technical things there going on, but we are ready to go. You missed the opening slides. We're not going to go back to them, but if you missed me saying it before, I'm going to say it one more time because I have to. It's This is where you belong, and we are so glad to be here with you every single week. And I have to tell you, like, I just... I just, my endorphins pop all over the place. I'm just so excited to be here and be with you. Um, and I love seeing, I love listening to Miss Chrissy sing because I get ah, fed that way. Okay. All right. So um, I believe on your screen you should be seeing the opening prayer because um, I can't see it, but we're going to pretend I can. And I'm going to ask you to stand up with me, please. Pray our hands together however you want to do it, whether it's like this, like this, or something else. Or down here, we are glad to pray with you. There here we go. Yep. Dear loving God, first, first yay, yay God. Thank you for water. Today we celebrate Jesus' baptism. Baptism is a way for us to know we are children of God. You claim us as your own. Help us to see the Holy Spirit in the water. Lord, every day, it's you, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. God is good, Jesus is joy, and the Holy Spirit rocks our world. We say, giggle. giggle. God, God is good. good. Boop. God, God loves everyone. everyone. Boop. Boop. Amen. Amen. And for those of you out there saying, yay, God, at the end of our prayer, yes, yay, God. Always yay, God. We'll do it again at the end. Okay, um, next on your screen, I believe you're seeing some comments and some speech bubbles. And so, what do you got out there for me? Andrew, uh, the joke. Look, there's the Macri family starting with the joke of the day. Look at you guys. So, here's our joke for the day. So, Rowan and Jace, I hope you're on because this is about you guys. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. And Jace's birthday is this week. Awesome. Yes. So, we love birthdays this week in the same way we have their jokes. Okay, so Rowan and Jace... They're playing outside, and it had just rained recently. And on their street, there happened to be some potholes in the street. Oh. And the potholes, what happens when it rains is they fill with water. Yes. So they're out there jumping in their sneakers in the puddles, and they're getting their feet and their toesies soaked. So mom comes out, and she's standing on the porch. Ashley, yes, you are watching your children jump in the puddles, but they're having so much fun, and it doesn't seem to be hurting anybody. So, And there's no traffic around anywhere. So anyhow, so they're <laughs> jumping in the puddles, and then Rowan gets this great idea. He grabs the back of Jace's neck, and he puts his face head plant down into the puddle of water. <laughs> and Ashley, mom, runs out to the boys, and she says, what are you doing? Like, oh my goodness, are you okay? And Jace is laughing up the storm. And so she looks at Rowan, and she says, like, what are you doing? And this is what Rowan says. He says, well, you know, we were playing church, Mom. Didn't you hear us? And she's like, what do you mean you were playing church? And he says, you know, like Father, Son, and in the hole. <laughs> okay, so Holy Spirit, there you go. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, um, I actually have to change all that. So in the hole he goes. Father, oh, Son, and Holy Spirit. Oh, in the Holy Ghost. That's okay. I knew there much was closer to the Holy much Ghost. Much closer to Holy Spirit. Yeah, Holy Ghost. I forgot the last word. Okay. But a bump. So now, what other comments are there? Yes, we are mm. learning about Jesus' baptism today. There are several things about Jesus' baptism today during children's time. We talked about and we focused on God's greeting. And I hope you got to hear children's time today because we talked about what, how would it be interesting if God greeted Jesus throughout his life mm -hmm. with a greeting card. And so today we're going to focus on the Holy Spirit, or in the case of our joke, we used to say the Holy Ghost. Another speech bubble. What's that? Katie, what have you got for me? Awesome. Very good. Yes, we are learning about Jesus' baptism in the book of Mark. And finally, um, we are now moving on to last week's Bible verse. Do you remember all those blanks? 
And remember, we learned a funky word last week that began with an E, and we learned another funky word that began with an H, and let's see if you can remember them. So what do you think? What have you got out there? Miss Marie, do you, do you know it? Natalie? Connie? What do you think? Mm. Sam, are you on here today? Yes. And so Sam, and Sam is belting out those words. Yes, he knows. Okay, so everybody together. And the wise men knelt, knelt down and paid him homage. homage. And remember, we had that word respect because we wanted to learn that homage meant respect. Okay, yeah. moving on. And that was from Matthew chapter 2, verse 21. Moving on to this week's Bible verse. We were in Matthew last week. We are now moving to the book of or the gospel of Mark. And Mark, we're going to do chapter 1, verse 11. And this is actually, we did talk about this today during children's time. It says, and a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. And you'll notice on that beloved, there's that heart. And because beloved is a fancy, fancy way of saying, you are the love of my life. You, I love everything about you. And so we have a little heart in there for just to help you remember that beloved is just this fancy way of saying, you are the love of my life. I love everything about you, and I always will. Okay, so got some blanks coming up. Oh, do we want to say it all together oh, all yeah, with the word? Yeah, yeah let's do that idea. just because this one's a wordy one. I, I, so. I want to get all the, the pictures situated. I'm really glad you suggested <laughs> that, Miss Chrissy. All Sorry. right, so can they do it, Miss Chrissy? Yes, so okay. let's read together. Now, I want to know the Beaux-Arts family, because you know what they always do? They always turn their backs when they read it aloud. Ah. So I'm going to challenge all of my Sunday school friends, young and old, can you say it with your back or your eyes closed, something like that, and not reading it? Let's see how we do. Okay. Okay. And, and a, a voice, voice came, came from heaven. heaven. You, you are my son, the, the beloved. beloved. With you, I am well pleased. All right. Now you've really got it all sunk in. Okay. Time for blanks. Now, I would not love to know if anybody, anybody in the comments, did anybody do that with their eyes closed or like turning their back to the screen? No, nobody said anything yet. Unfortunately, there's a 20 second delay. Yeah. So if not, if you didn't do it the first time, this is your time. Okay. This is your time to close your eyes or turn your back and listen. And by now, or maybe we have listen. some blanks on the screen too. Yep. We're, we're ready. Yep. Okay. We're ready. All right. Here we go. And, and a uh, voice came, came from, from heaven. You, you are, are my son, the, the beloved. With, with you, you, I am well pleased. pleased. Exclamation point. Woo, awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so now we're going to just talk about offering. And during offering, we just simply say that, you know what? In addition to your monies to the church or donating food to the church that we give out to the needy and the community and the surrounding communities, remember it is also your service that is so important. And this the things you do around the house for your mom and dad, that counts a whole lot. Okay, so Miss Christy, you know, we haven't sang the, our offering song in a while. Sure. So I, think, I think we need to do our offering song. That would song. be fine. So while you're helping me sing, maybe you can think of something else that you would be able to help with your offering this week. And just know that um, if you didn't know, you can drop off envelopes to the church office anytime during the week. Um, and you can even donate online. So here we go. Offer, offer, offering, we give our gifts to say. Thank you, Lord, for loving us and blessing us each day. Time to share our gifts and say, Thank you, Lord, for each new day. Offer, offer, offering, we give our gifts to say. Thank you, Lord, for loving us and blessing us each day. Thank you very much. Thank you for all you give to your church and to the people around you. Now, Miss Chrissy, do you know what time it is now? Mm, now is it time for birthdays? It's time for birthdays. Okay, I got I got several. Okay, several good. Things going on. So let me say before Miss Chris, before you tell me what's oh, going okay. on, I want to tell you about last week. Oh boy, last week in the comments, there were a lot of comments last week about birthdays that we missed. Oh, I don't know oh, how we so did sorry. that. So we, Ken Hibbert, um, Ken Hibbert always joins us for Sunday school. He helps us say yay God every single week. 
And make no mistake about it, he says those words, yay God, as does Connie and some of our other Sunday school friends. So we want to say happy birthday to Ken because he always joins in. And I happen to know that Joyce Alexander in our church family, we're going to talk about our church family today um, in terms of baptism. And so happy birthday to Joyce Alexander. What have you got? And, and our other, another one of our grown-up Sunday school friends, Miss Natalie's birthday was on the 4th. Oh, wow. So happy birthday to Miss Natalie. And the big one coming up tomorrow, Jay Stalia is turning eight years old. Oh, that's like Woo! two circles on top of each other. That's big numbers. Or one circle on top of the other. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Okay. But so we are going to put um, all our birthday wishes together. We're going to sing to Jace and use his name in the song. And we hope that you have a wonderful, or that you had, for some of you who has passed, had a wonderful birthday celebration. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jace. Happy birthday to you. Jesus loves you, you and, and we, we do, do too. too. Yay! Kay. And now we are going to move on to our lesson in today's activity. So happy birthday, Jace. Ken, I hope you had a great week last week and you continue into this year. And Joyce, happy birthday to you. All right, today's lesson is going to be something that we talked about in Sunday uh, in children's time today, and it was our gospel lesson, and it is Jesus' baptism. Now, Jesus' baptism is actually talked about several places in the Bible, in the New Testament. For example, in the book of in the Gospel of Matthew, it is found chapter 3, verses 13 to 17. And then in Mark, it is found chapter 1, verses 4 to 11. And remember, verse 11 in Mark, chapter 1, is our Bible verse for today that we learned. And then in Luke, chapter 3, verses 15 to 17, and then 21 to 22, it focuses on Jesus' baptism. So we are going, out of all of those Gospels, we are going to focus on the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 4 to 11. Now, I've been reading, last week I read to you out of my big old Bible, and today, this week, I thought I would read to you from my Spark Bible, and I got to tell you, this is just a shout out to Pastor Scott. Those of you who remember Pastor Scott here before Pastor Elaine several years ago, he loved the Spark Bible. Like, honestly, as old as he was, this was his favorite Bible, mm -hmm. and he got everybody to get it back in his former church. So I just think that's very, very cool that he just totally endorses our Spark Bible. Okay, so I'm going to read you from our Spark Bible, and it's called Jesus' Baptism. While Jesus was living in Galilee, his cousin, John the Baptist, was pre preaching out in the country of Judea. The people loved John and came to see and hear him whenever they could. Sometimes crowds of people came to see John by the Jordan River. When the crowds came, John would tell them, change what needs changing in your life. God's kingdom is here. Repent your sins. Really stop trying to make those wrong decisions. The people would promise to change their lives. And then John would baptize them to show them that they were a new person in God's eyes. I baptize you on the outside with plain old water from the Jordan River. But this is nothing compared to what and who is coming, John would exclaim. The one who is coming will baptize you with God's own spirit. With God's spirit, you will be changed from the inside out. While John was saying this, Jesus appeared. He asked John to baptize him. But John wasn't so sure. What? Me? Baptize you? I think it should be the other way around, John said. But Jesus insisted, do it, John. God does amazing things in baptism. So John did what Jesus asked and baptized him. All the way under the water in the Jordan River, Jesus went down, 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 splash, splash, splash. When he splashed up out of the river, Jesus saw the skies open up, and he saw God's spirit. It looked like a dove gracefully floating down, and landed on him. There was a voice, too. The voice said, This is my son, 
He has been chosen and marked by my love. He is the great joy of my life. And so today, when we're, go we're going to be talking about the the whole, uh, Jesus' baptism and what it means to us in our own lives and what our baptism really means. So in baptism, this is really an important concept because in baptism, we are created and we are brought into a greater family. I know we often think of our families as just being our sisters and our brothers, our moms, our dads, maybe our cousin, grandma, grandpa, but we are also brought into the family of Christ. And in the family of Christ, you have lots and lots and lots of sisters and brothers. And so when we lose a sister or a brother, we always remember them as still being part of Christ's family. They are still part of our family, even though they are no longer with us today. And so this is really important. So let's talk about what it means to be baptized. During children's times today, we talked about the ending. We talked about where, G where God presents to everybody. He says, this is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. But now we're going to talk about today in Sunday school, we're going to focus on the water aspect of it and the Holy Spirit aspect. This is a time where we get to see the Holy Spirit in action. And so let's talk about that. So I'd like you to think of this water, and this water is you, okay? You are this bowl of water, okay? And so in the waters of, you are brought into the waters of baptism, and at this time, and I always have to give a shout out to Casey when I talk about baptism, because Casey chose to get baptized at an older age. So where most of us are baptized when we are children, Casey is like, one, she's my role model. Truly, Casey, being in high school now, she is like my role model because she chose when she was about third grade, Gabby too, by the way, they, both girls chose to get baptized on their own because they wanted to know Jesus better. So they are always, they will always be my role model forever. So here we have the waters of baptism and here we are. And so life can get kind of messy. There are times where, you know what? I'm tempted to maybe take some money out of my mom's purse. Maybe I'm tempted to, you know, um, eat something that I'm not supposed to eat. And so life can get really messy. And I'd like you to think about how life gets messy for you. So I just put a bunch of pepper in our water. Oops, it's kind of dirty. It's kind of dirty. You and can keep it up there, I think, for the camera, Miss Betty. It's okay, so, so when, I, when I stick my finger into life's mess, what happens to my finger? Ooh. It's messy. It's covered in pepper. So, and the longer it stays in there, the more pepper that gets on it. And the only way for me to get rid of that pepper wipe it off. But in baptism, so I'd like you to think about being a baby or being Casey at the baptismal font. Ms. Trish, could we pan to the baptismal font for just a quick moment? Casey, you want to stand over by the baptismal font for me? So here's Casey. Imagine her as a third grader and she says to Pastor Laura, you know what, I want to be baptized. And Pastor Laura was happy for months, Casey. I don't know if you know that or not. She literally walked around here with a hop in her step because she was just so excited that she, um, you wanted to be baptized. So I want you to think about Casey had some water put on her head as a symbol of God coming into her life and claiming you, Casey, God claimed you as his own. He claimed you as a child of God. Ta -da, ta -da! How exciting is that? So now I want you to think of this bowl right here. It's got some liquid in it. All right, wait for the pan back. Casey, so I want you to think about this now. Okay, this is, this is you being, this water is being put on your head. Okay, all right. And I'm going to stick my finger in it and swirl it around. Okay, can you see that? All right. So now I have the Holy Spirit is being put on my finger. And now when I put it in my bowl of pepper, Miss Christy, what's happening? Can you take a look at the bowl and tell, tell our friends what's happening? Notice the top layer. What happened to the pepper? It, it left. Like it spread out. It spread out and it moved all the way to it the edges of the bowl. away from your finger. Right. And look at my finger, Miss Christy. What do you notice? It's still clean. It's still clean. 
It's clean, 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 clean. See that, Casey? When you got baptized, you got clean, 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 clean. Woo! Okay? And so that's what happens in baptism. God claims us as his own. He calls us a child of God. And more importantly, he gives us the gifts to be able to say, you know what? Gee, I want to take that money out of my mom's wallet. And you know what? She's not going to miss it because there's a ton of dollar bills in there. I'm going to sneak extra cookies. Or maybe it's sneaking extra cookies because mom only told me they could have three for before, snap, before bedtime. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole plate and nobody's going to know. Right. Or, you know what? Um, I think I'm going to go in my brother's room and mess around with his computer. He'll never know. He's not here. And if I change something, I'll just say that it wasn't me right. by accident. Okay. So whatever it is that you're doing or the choices that you make that, you know what, in your head, in your heart, you know are not right, when you stop yourself from doing those things, guess what? That is the Holy Spirit working in your life. Mm. Okay. The Holy Spirit also works in your life because no matter what you do, you are a, Casey, you are a child oh, oh. of God. And how exciting is that? God loves you no matter what you do, no matter what mistakes you make, no matter how good you are, God loves you the same as the next person, okay? Because that is God's grace. And on your baptism, God brought that grace to you. So on this day as we celebrate Jesus' baptism, I'd like you to think about all those times that you made good choices. Because when you were making those good choices, guess what? That was the Holy Spirit right here in your heart working in you. So as you go about this week and the following weeks and you're thinking about making those bad choices and then you get the idea, oh, that's kind of not the right thing to do, I'd just like you to say, you know, hey, God, thank you. You are working in my life and so is the Holy Spirit. I think we got this covered, Miss Chrissy. Ah, it was a wonderful demonstration, Miss Bev. I think we would be ready to have a closing prayer. I think so. All right. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for our Sunday school leaders. Thank you for our friends and our family and our parents who help us get the technology up and running so we can see your word in action with our, with our, um, with our church friends. Lord, thank you for the gift of water. For the baptism of Jesus, when we go and we see the rain and we see the showers and we drink the water, I mean, we always think of you and your gift of water. Keep us clean. Keep the pepper away from our everyday life. Keep us anointed with your oil so that it spreads out and it is not, and that we make good choices in our everyday lives. Help us to be the example and show those choices to others, too, so that they can see your love all this we pray in your name amen and and yay god we'll see you back here next week we're going to make sunday school always 11 15 so that we're just not scrambling so close to church time hopefully we will see you next week at 11 15 because this is where you belong mm -hmm. amen amen